Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course app problem permutation disturbance. Okay, so let's go to directly. So we are given a permutation P. Okay, so we can do the number of operations. So what is the goal of these operations? His goal is to like Ti should not be equal to I, right? That is his goal. And he want to minimize the operations because he is not kind of person who is who loves right thing like if one two three and indexes are also one two three so these are good a owns three one two these things every position should be different every position should be different from the number that is his goal okay so what we can do so is this the question so yes so we need to find the minimum number of operations that is our code. Okay. So what you can think initially? You can think of like let's say let's calculate the number of uh, possible scenarios like where it is not equal or where it is equal. We can do like we'll do n by two swap and get it the right things done. Right. So let's say here there are three. Right. Three is three. 1, 2. We have 1, 2, 3. That is the thing, right? So no one is equal. So it is good. We can have answer 0, right? But 1, 2. Both are equal. We can do n by 2. That is like both are the conditions. So n by 2. n by 2 swaps. That is good. One swap, like 2, comma 1. Yeah, good. That is a good thing, right? So let's see a example where this thing will fail. <coughs> so here 3, 2, 1, 4. So we have this thing, let's say 1, will this work? 1, 2, 3, 4. It would also not fail here because there are only two things. And this one and this one. That's it. So two cases are matching. This one and this one. These cases are matching. So we can do n by two, right? <clears throat> n by two. That's it. And will it solve this problem? Mm, if we swap this, so it will be four and one. This is solving the problem. Right, but this is not the answer. Answer is two. Why? But we can't swap these two and four. Why? Because if you read this condition, he can swap any two adjacent elements. Right. So we can't do that. That is the problem. <clears throat> so what we can do? We can swap with the next number. Like till here, things are fine till previous it is fine problem is starting from this point so we'll shift to the next and shift to the next we'll do like this so if we do this like this is the problem so what we will do let me clean okay so what we'll do in one iteration what is happening like it is three so we have one one and two now this is in one operation in second operation 3, 1, 4, 2. If there is no foundation of adjacent thing, then we can do directly. Otherwise, this is the thing. Adjacent. So what we need to do? We just need to <coughs> follow this. Like, let's see the code. We just need to take the input as usual. Okay. And just the see the count. And what we will do? If bi is equal to equal to i plus 1, why we are doing that? Because it is r code base understands zero base indexing, but we need to compare with 1. That's why we are adding 1. Okay. So we'll swap it with bi plus 1, the adjacent number, the next to it. Okay. And we'll increase the count because we need that swap. And if last number is the case, because we are not considering here, if Last number is the same. Then we again like we need one more swap with some number. Okay. 
that is the case <clears throat> so hope you understood this solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding